Hello guys and welcome. You've been asking me questions about my UI on my live streams and the add-ons that I use on, on Turtle Wow. Today I'm gonna show you my add-ons and how to configure them. Well, most of them. Also, most of you are not subscribed to my channel, so if you enjoy the content in my live streams, please subscribe and like it. It really helps a lot. Cheers! PF Quest. First, I'm going to show you a mandatory add-on that I use, pfquest and pfquest uh, turtle database. It's super simple, you just click combined and save and close. That's uh, the default setup and it works perfectly for me. It shows all the markers on the map, where the quest givers are and where to turn in uh, quests. Honestly, this add-on is a must-have. Once you're done with that, you'll see this bar. You can move it anywhere you want, just left click and hold, then drag it to your preferred spot. Here's the settings options, uh, you don't really uh, need to touch anything there. Uh, you can also minimize this uh, map by clicking this button. One more thing uh, I want to mention, sometimes even after, after you accept the quest or turn in the quest, the same quest giver might still show that a quest is available. If that happens, just hold shift and left click to remove it and it won't be shown anymore, like this. Shago Plates Shago Plates is the most asked about add-on on my live streams. It allows us to see casting bars underneath the nameplates, as well as health bars, names, health percentages, debuffs and the duration of debuffs. You can have multiple debuffs displayed at once. It's really handy and provides us a lot of useful information. To open settings panel, you type S plates. You can customize for your needs. I'm gonna put uh, my settings down below in the description so you can check it and copy paste it. Bagnon is an add on that combines all your bags into a single panel so you can see everything more clearly and efficiently. You can also check the bags of your other characters on the same realm, like this. You can click this button to show your bag slots. And if you hover your mouse over your gold, it will show the total gold across all your characters on this realm. By right clicking, you, you can access the settings. It's very simple add-on, but extremely useful. Rested XP. As you can see, when you're not rested, it shows the message you're not rested. You need a nap. What you need to do is to find a tent, stand underneath it and wait for a tick. There you go, you're now 3% rested. Every 10 to 15 seconds it will increase by another 3% until you reach full rested XP, which will be displayed here in the chat. To check your current percentage, you type rested. Also, the rested XP gives you 20-100% of normal experience gain from the monsters. So it's very useful, quicker uh, leveling. Shago Tweaks. Uh, you open it by uh, clicking escape on the keyboard. You go advanced options. Uh, this add-on is a must have for Turtle Wow. It adds tons of quality of life features like auto dismount, a nameplate customization, UI improvements and error filtering. Also, uh, with the uh, Shago Tweaks Extras, you get this also. So you have uh, raid, fra raid frames, macros, tweaks in general, like back search. Also, for rogues, show energy ticks, which is very handy. For the chat also you have additional options for action bars. And yeah, that covers pretty much all. Pizza World Buffs. Pizza World Buffs is a simple add-on that shows you the cooldowns for Onyxia and Nefarian. It also shows you the location of Darkmoon Fire, uh, based on where it uh, was last placed. If you hover your mouse over it, the tooltip window will appear in the bottom right corner. It's a very simple add-on, but again, super useful. Also, 
Pizza World Buffs uh, gives you uh, information about uh, the last seen tent on the map. Bonus tip. If you have Shago Tweaks, you can enable movable unit frames in advanced options. Press Ctrl Shift, it will display this grid. Then right click on your pod portrait and unlock the frame. Then you can drag it and place it to your preferred spot. So I like to do it like this. Turtle Mail. Are you tired of the old mail system? Sending one item per mail? Well, Turtle Mail is then for you. Turtle Mail is a, a really useful add-on for Turtle Wow that uh, makes managing your in-game mail much easier, especially if you have multiple characters. With Turtle Mail, you can open all incoming mail quickly, including items and gold. You can collect all by just clicking on this open mail button. You can uh, send multiple items in a single mail, automatically complete the recipient names to save time and avoid mistakes, like this. Track mail status, like uh, whether a mail was returned or uh, who it's from. See the total gold collected from opened mails. Uh, overall, it's a really simple but extremely handy add-on that saves you a lot of time and hassle when handling mails. Modern map markers. This is a super handy add-on that makes navigating Turtle Wow much easier. It adds clear, customizable markers to your whole map so you can quickly find important locations. For example, it shows dungeons and raid entrances, war bosses, transportation hubs like uh, boats and zeppelins and even specific quest objectives. It's perfect if you want a clean modern map without all extra clutter. Level range. A level range add-on is a straightforward yet invaluable add-on for Total Wow, especially especially if you're exploring new or custom zones. You just need to hover over your desired uh, zone and uh, at the bottom left corner of the map it will show you the level level's range, giving you the instant clarity on where to go next. Proc Dock. It's a very simple add-on uh, that uh, shows you the procs of your overpower if, you play, if you're playing a warrior, for example. I'm gonna show you right now. A few years later. As you can see, there's a proc, and that uh, that's how it works. I use this add-on because sometimes I forget to use our power when it's procced, so it's a really good reminder. Attack bar. Attack bar is a very handy add-on that allows you to see uh, your main hand and offhand uh, swing timers, as well as enemy swing timers. As you can see, to, to be able to unlock attack bars uh, and move it, you need to type A bar, unlock, then you will be able to move anchors, put back lock. Sometimes uh, it gets uh, buggy by show showing you only the main hand swing. What you need to do to fix that is type A bar, fix. And then you will need to wait five, f 5 seconds before entering the combat, and the issue will be fixed. Classic Snowfall Classic Snowfall is an add-on that uh, accelerates key bindings so that they are activated by key press rather than key release. What this does, so with this add-on, as soon as I click uh, press on keyboard number 2, it will start a cast. Without it, it will, it will look like this. You see, when I press 2, it uh, doesn't start casting. Only when I release my finger from the keyboard button. So this is really helpful for PvP, also PvE. It adds up during, during some extended fights. So yeah, it's really, really uh, helpful. Especially for casters. Worth mentioning add-ons. Atlas and Atlas Loot. This add-on allows you to see the loot from the dungeons, 
raid bosses, world bosses, uh, world events, crafting. You pick your choice. Aux. It replaces uh, completely your auction house uh, UI. So it has some additional options. And if you don't like it, just use Blizzard UI by clicking on this button. A better character stats. It allows you to change the, the base stats and melee, which is by default, and you cannot change it. So you can see like range, uh, defense, you can check the stats, defense versus boss, pretty cool add-on. And that's it for today guys. Those are all the essential add-ons that I use on Turtle Wow to make my gameplay smoother, more efficient and just more enjoyable. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the future tutorials and live streams. Also, leave a comment below letting me know which add-on is your favorite or if there's any you want me to cover next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Happy gaming!